So here we are at 52 Castle Frank Crescent. Castle Frank Crescent is an amazing, amazing, amazing street. Uh, we're one block or if not even a half a block away from the subway station at Castle Frank and Bloor. So you have the east-west uh, traverse of the city of Toronto. And it's a wonderful, wonderful street in that it's got lots of houses. As a matter of fact, the house behind all of these trees used to belong to Arthur Meehan, who was one of the Prime Ministers of Canada. Uh, so it's a great street. We have very stately houses and it's a dead end. So uh, everybody on the street gets to know one another. And I've been lucky enough to live here for 16 years. And I can tell you that uh, it's a street like no other. We've had wonderful, wonderful times with a lot of our, our uh, friends, our neighbors. Uh, we constantly have get-togethers, we get into politics. Anyways, this is number 52 and I'm glad to show it to you today. So 52 Castle Frank has, or Castle Frank Crescent by the way, has a wonderful, wonderful big lot. It's 70 feet at the front and it goes down to 140 feet at the back. Uh, the house has got a very wide driveway. The seller has been able to place a number of cars here, his vans, whatever, trucks uh, for deliveries. Um, that doesn't seem to be an issue. Above the sunroom, which is one of my favorite rooms in the house, you're gonna see the most amazing uh, little deck. And it's a wonderful place to come out, have your coffee, and watch the street go by. I wanted to take a second to talk to you about our PPE packages. As you enter 52 Castle Frank Crescent, you'll notice just as you walk in the front door that there is all sorts of uh, protections for the COVID-19 protocols that we are following in all of our listings. So we have packages that have inside them uh, booties that you can put over your shoes, gloves, masks, and um, sanitizer. There's also sanitizer at the door and it's very, very important that everybody wear a mask, wear the gloves and follow the protocols under COVID-19. So welcome to 52 Castle Frank Crescent. Just wanna show you some of the points of the house that I love the best. First of all, look at the size of this living room. It's actually a double sized living room. Uh, you can have lots of parties here. I've been to a few of them, I must admit. And uh, it is a great uh, living room in the, t in, the, in the old sense of the word. And also what's wonderful is there's a wonderful entertainment center that's part of the living room. So if you like your movies, your television, whatever you wanna watch is there. But my favorite part of this whole area is this little sunroom here that's right at the front of the house. So you can see everything that's going on. You can see people coming and going. And it is the most wonderful, comfortable room with great big chairs. And it's a wonderful lookout for the house. Absolutely amazing. Gives you an idea of the, what's happening at the front, if any guests are coming. But it's just a wonderful place to sit, read a book, and enjoy your day. And as we walk through from the sunroom to the living room, and the living room has a great fireplace, and there's room enough, as you can see, for musicians uh, to have their grand pianos, for you to have little concerts, and more that is just part of this wonderful house, wonderful main floor. One of the best parts is a very substantial, substantial dining room. Now, you'll notice that there are radiators here on the, on the, in the house, but there's also a cooling system. So the house right now, and it's a very warm day outside, but right now the house is very, very cool. And the uh, cooling comes from the top floor. There is a condenser that is just outside of this window, but the top floor is where the cooling system is, and it brings everything down to the main floor and the second floor. So you have a nice cool house as you walk through. Now, one of my very favorite parts, of course, the kitchen. I'm a great kitchen person. And uh, there's lots of different entries. We have lots and lots and lots of storage. We have a wonderful island that's here. And we look out from the window 
right to the backyard. So you can see what's happening. You can see uh, what's happening on the barbecue. There's a wonderful sitting area that we're gonna go see as we walk out. But this is one of my favorite things about the house. And also, if you are interested in having a fireplace, and out there, there is a there is a fireplace. There's also room enough for a pool. Wouldn't it be nice to be out there and have a pool in the backyard right in downtown Toronto? So let's go and take a look at one of my other favorite parts of this house, which is, of course, the main floor of a Skoka room. It doesn't really happen that in many houses in the downtown that you have a totally enclosed porch like this. Now this porch could also, if you wanted more space in the house, I don't think it'd be very hard to finish this porch, uh, but it is a wonderful Muskoka room. And you can come out here, you do feel, as soon as you walk out, you can feel the humidity that's in the air, but it's a wonderful place for a great seating area that's right here. And a wonderful, wonderful, large backyard. And it's just crying out for a pool. I gotta tell you, it's just crying out for a swimming pool. Either that or a pond or, you know, a lot of finished products. And here's a nice table. You have room for a table. And you also have this area around the side of the house, which is where they've put the, um, the, uh, the fireplace, exterior fireplace. There's a gas hookup for it. There's a gas hookup over here for the barbecue as well. And this is great family house. I can imagine you, you know, having your family around. You can seat eight or nine people just having a sit around and chat. And we've done it many times. Just had a drink, watch the dogs play in the backyard. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful location in the house. So for those of you who are chefs and like to cook, uh, this is a great kitchen. It is compact, but it has everything in it. You have a six burner Gen Air stove, a uh, gas stove, which is wonderful. You also have the water filler here for those of you who like pasta. There is a microwave that is underneath here. You have double Gen Air ovens and a dishwasher and then this absolutely huge Gen Air fridge which is absolutely lovely. It's got great space for those of you who like to party, who like to have your friends over, drinks, whatever. But it is a wonderful place for you to come, sit, and watch somebody cook as you enjoy the lunch, or the dinner, or the cocktail. Muskoka room in the middle of the city. This is wonderful. You can sit here, you can entertain friends. Uh, if there's bugs out, you don't have to deal with them at all. Uh, it's a wonderful place just to sit at any time of the year. Now, the great thing about this room as well, I mean, I love the room, but also it would not be that hard because you do have foundation underneath it. It wouldn't be that hard for you to finish this off as another room. Not that you need a lot of space on the main floor. You've already got a lot of space. And what's wonderful is you can look out to the garden and should you decide to put in a pool, what a wonderful place for you to have a pool and to sit and relax after having a swim. So it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful area. Just behind the fence, there's the park of a school, the Rosedale Heights School of the Arts. And it's a very good school. Um, you don't hear a lot of noise because they're mostly in class. They're very dedicated kids. You may hear a band in June practicing outside for one day, but other than that, it's just a wonderful, wonderful location. So I like to think of this as the quintessential family home. Uh, there's stunning stained glass throughout. Um, a lot of the rooms have been They've been all updated. They were updated in 2010 with new wiring and plumbing and also this uh, cooling system that really helps during the, during the summer months. The great thing about this house is the oversized rooms. I should probably have turned these lights on as well. But we have an oversized master bedroom 
fireplace, two big chairs, desk, table. It's wonderful. And walk-in closets. There's a his walk-in closet. And over here, there's a hers walk-in closet. And the hers walk-in closet leads you into the master bathroom. For those of you who like to be in a tub, there's a great big tub. For those of you who like to have a shower, great big shower, double sinks, and a two-piece, a WC, so you can close the door for privacy. And also a wonderful view of the backyard and the schoolyard, or the school park, actually. rooms in this house are truly substantial. Look at the size of that fireplace, the size of the bed, and the fact that you can have two great big couch chairs uh, sitting there in front of the fireplace, and you still have lots of room. Uh, the, the wonderful thing about this house is that the principal rooms and some of the bedrooms are very, very, very large. Now, also on the second floor, we have a washer dryer, a little laundry room. We have built-in cupboards, so you can have all of your things with you. You have a second bathroom here that's also been done. It is a three-piece bathroom, either for guests or for friends who come to visit, or for children. And we have a wonderful den at the front of the house uh, on the second floor. This den makes a wonderful office. You can see absolutely everything that's happening on the street, and a wonderful walk out to a little deck. If you feel like you need some fresh air or a coffee in the morning, you come out and go to the deck. The deck has a great view of the front garden, which is very, very large, and a wonderful place just to sit and watch the world go by and watch the street go by. And you're close enough, you can't see the, through the trees right now, but you're close enough to see the downtown. You're half a block away from the subway, and you can see your neighbors, you can talk to them if you need to, or if they walk by, you can say hello. And it makes for a wonderful, wonderful location for friends, family, and for raising, uh, raising children. It's a great house for that. Very substantial rooms, and it's been in, kept in very, very good shape by the owners. COVID-19 have been working from home quite a lot. You'll see there is a wonderful second floor office. Uh, it is adjoining the master bedroom, but you can have complete privacy and work late into the night and also watch television or whatever if uh, you want to watch the game and she's watching a cooking show or whatever uh, or some murder mystery you can find out and just uh, have separation of televisions, which is very important in a modern family. Think of this as the princess's bedroom. Uh, it could be a guest bedroom, it could be, it's the third room on the second floor. It could either be a bedroom, uh, it could be a guest bedroom, but it's really a wonderful place for a child or somebody else, a guest in the family to come. It is right beside the bathroom that is available for use for any guest or child or whoever's here. So welcome to the third floor. As I mentioned earlier, this house has over 4,600 square feet, not including the basement. And the basement is partially finished and you can use it for entertaining or for the kids' playroom or whatever. But what's wonderful up here is there are depth, another two bedrooms and a bathroom. This is a substantial bedroom. As a matter of fact, the son of the owners uh, often sleeps up here, he has friends come and visit, but his main bedroom is the one in the front. So there is this bedroom for guests or for more children, and the next bedroom is for a young man or a young woman who really enjoys their time and wants a cozy space. 
as I say, it's substantial rooms. There's room enough for a bed, which is just over here in the corner. Wonderful bookshelves, very cozy, and a three-piece settee, settee. And also, if you want to climb up the ladder, there's also a sleeping loft. So if your son or daughter has guests that come and stay for the night, uh, have sleepovers, it's a wonderful, wonderful house for that. And lots of closets and lots of drawers that are built in. Here's the third floor, four piece. As you can see, there is a sink, shower, bathtub, and of course a toilet. So you can come in on the side, you can have dirty feet, whatever, snowy, there's a place to put your clothes, uh, there's little baskets with different things on them, and there's also a door to the exterior. So if you were to do a pool in the backyard, what a great place to have a dressing room. As we come downstairs, there's a lot more storage for clothes. And there is a wonderful room. This uh, obviously, uh, as I mentioned to you before, they're musicians. There's more storage here. There's the electronics of the house. And <clears throat> what's really special about this house is, as large as it is, it has a ton of space to play. The kids can play here. And also, look at the size of this storage area absolutely huge storage area which is under the house and allows for you to have quite a bit of things in your house we have the furnace which has been recently updated um, it's high efficiency hot water gas and as i mentioned to you before we also have that third floor cooling system which is amazing so you'll never be at a lack for storage, absolutely not. It's a great room to relax, to have your friends over, to have a beer, to play some music. Uh, as you can see, music has uh, been a big feature in this household and uh, continues to be. Uh, so everybody in the household plays instruments and they are in a band. Uh, it's not their major business, but it is one of the things that they use for recreation. And the house is made perfect for it. So welcome to 52 Castle Frank Crescent. Just want to show you some of the points of the house that I love the best. First of all, look at the size of this living room. It's actually a double sized living room. Uh, you can have lots of parties here. I've been to a few of them, I must admit. And uh, it is a great uh, living room in the, t in, the, in the old sense of the word. And also what's wonderful is there's a wonderful entertainment center that's part of the living room. So if you like your movies, your television, whatever you want to watch is there. But my favorite part of this whole area is this little sunroom here that's right at the front of the house. So you can see everything that's going on. You can see people coming and going. And it is the most wonderful, comfortable room with great big chairs, and it's a wonderful lookout for the house. Absolutely amazing. Gives you an idea of the, what's happening at the front, if any guests are coming, but it's just a wonderful place to sit, read a book, and enjoy your day. And as we walk through from the sunroom to the living room, and the living room has a great fireplace, and there's room enough, as you can see, for musicians uh, to have their grand pianos, for you to have little concerts, and more that is just part of this wonderful house, wonderful main floor. One of the best parts is a very substantial, substantial dining room. 
Now, you'll notice that there are radiators here on the, on the, in the house, but there's also a cooling system. So the house right now, and it's a very warm day outside, but right now the house is very, very cool. And the uh, cooling comes from the top floor. There is a condenser that is just outside of this window, but the top floor is where the cooling system is and it brings everything down to the main floor and the second floor. So you have a nice cool house as you walk through. Now, one of my very favorite parts, of course, the kitchen. I'm a great kitchen person. And uh, there's lots of different entries. We have lots and lots and lots of storage. We have a wonderful island that's here. And we look out from the window right to the backyard. So you can see what's happening. You can see uh, what's happening on the barbecue. There's a wonderful sitting area that we're gonna go see as we walk out. But this is one of my favorite things about the house. And also, if you are interested in having a fireplace and out there, there is, a, there is a fireplace. There's also room enough for a pool. Wouldn't it be nice to be out there and have a pool in the backyard right in downtown Toronto? So let's go and take a look at one of my other favorite parts of this house, which is, of course, the main floor of a Skoka room. It doesn't really happen that in many houses in the downtown that you have a totally enclosed porch like this. Now this porch could also, if you wanted more space in the house, I don't think it would be very hard to finish this porch, uh, but it is a wonderful Muskoka room. And you can come out here, you do feel, as soon as you walk out, you can feel the humidity that's in the air, but it's a wonderful place for a great seating area that's right here. And, a wonderful wonderful large backyard and it's just crying out for a pool I gotta tell you it's just crying out for a swimming pool either that or a pond or you know a lot of finished products and here's a nice table you have room for a table and you also have this area around the side of the house which is where they've put the um, the uh, fireplace, exterior fireplace, there's a gas hookup for it. There's a gas hookup over here for the barbecue as well. And this is great family house. I can imagine you, you know, having your family around. You can seat eight or nine people just having a sit around and chat. And we've done it many times. Just had a drink, watch the dogs play in the backyard. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful location in the house. So welcome to 52 Castle Frank Crescent. Just want to show you some of the points of the house that I love the best. First of all, look at the size of this living room. It's actually a double sized living room. Uh, you can have lots of parties here. I've been to a few of them, I must admit. And uh, it is a great uh, living room in the, t in, the, in the old sense of the word. And also what's wonderful is there's a wonderful entertainment center that's part of the living room. So if you like your movies, your television, whatever you want to watch is there. But my favorite part of this whole area is this little sunroom here that's right at the front of the house. So you can see everything that's going on. You can see people coming and going. And it is the most wonderful, comfortable room with great big chairs, and it's a wonderful lookout for the house. Absolutely amazing. Gives you an idea of the, what's happening at the front, if any guests are coming, but it's just a wonderful place to sit, read a book, and enjoy your day. And as we walk through from the sunroom to the living room, and the living room has a great fireplace, and there's room enough, as you can see, for musicians uh, to have their grand pianos, for you to have little concerts, and more that is just part of this wonderful house, wonderful main floor. One of the best parts is a very substantial, substantial dining room. Now, you'll notice that there are radiators here on the, on the, in the house, 
but there's also a cooling system. So the house right now, and it's a very warm day outside, but right now the house is very, very cool. And the uh, cooling comes from the top floor. There is a condenser that is just outside of this window, but the top floor is where the cooling system is and it brings everything down to the main floor and the second floor. So you have a nice cool house as you walk through. Now, one of my very favorite parts, of course, the kitchen. I'm a great kitchen person. And uh, there's lots of different entries. We have lots and lots and lots of storage. We have a wonderful island that's here. And we look out from the window right to the backyard. So you can see what's happening. You can see uh, what's happening on the barbecue. There's a wonderful sitting area that we're gonna go see as we walk out. But this is one of my favorite things about the house. And also, if you are interested in having a fireplace and out there, there is, a, there is a fireplace. There's also room enough for a pool. Wouldn't it be nice to be out there and have a pool in the backyard right in downtown Toronto? So let's go and take a look at one of my other favorite parts of this house, which is, of course, the main floor of a Skoka room. It doesn't really happen that in many houses in the downtown that you have a totally enclosed porch like this. Now this porch could also, if you wanted more space in the house, I don't think it'd be very hard to finish this porch, uh, but it is a wonderful Muskoka room. And you can come out here, you do feel, as soon as you walk out, you can feel the humidity that's in the air, but it's a wonderful place for a great seating area that's right here. And, a wonderful wonderful large backyard and it's just crying out for a pool I gotta tell you it's just crying out for a swimming pool either that or a pond or you know a lot of finished products and here's a nice table you have room for a table and you also have this area around the side of the house which is where they've put the um, the, uh, the fireplace, the exterior fireplace, there's a gas hookup for it. There's a gas hookup over here for the barbecue as well. And this is great family house. I can imagine you, you know, having your family around. You can seat eight or nine people just having a sit around and chat. And we've done it many times. Just had a drink, watch the dogs play in the backyard. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful location in the house.